Hello friends. So today we'll be looking at persistent data structures. So in computing, persistent data structure is a structure that always preserves the previous version of itself when it is modified. So let's say there is a x, we modified it into x1. Then uh, there is a variable x, we modified it from x1 to x2. Then x1 is still there, but we have created a new value x2. So such data structures are effectively immutable. So x1 can't be changed. We have to create a new x2 because their operation do not visibly update the structure in place. So x1 is not overwritten by x2, but we have created a new x2. And then if we want to create a new x3, we have to create a new version of it. So it works like this. So I think you uh, already recalled what is similar to this. Uh, the Git or the accurate versioning systems, they are similar to this. Uh, in the sense they have they are changing the uh, latest uh, version of code but they are still maintaining the previous versions of code also so a data structure is partially persistent if all of the versions can be accessed but only the newest version can be modified so we can't modify x1 x2 we can just modify x3 but we can still access x1 and x2. So the latest version can be modified. And the structure is fully persistent if every version can be both modified and accessed. Simple, you got it right. If there is also a meld or merge operation, as we see in Git, there is a merge operation. So it can create a new version by combining two previous versions. So x1 and x2 it takes and creates a new x3 or let's say x4 if x4 is the latest version so it takes two files let's say uh, there is a single file sorry and uh, I have changed line number 72 of the file and you have changed line number um, 82 of the file and created a version x2 I have created a version x1 then the git can merge both of the versions x1 and x2 and create a new version x3 let's say with changes in both lines 72 and in and line 82 so such a data structure is called confluently persistent and structures which are not persistent are called ephemeral so in these uh, the previous values are overwritten Hope you understand what a persistent data structure is. Thank you friends. Please like, share and subscribe.